So the fish meeting for letting me react to this video. So here we go. So normally I don't do reaction videos in general. So, but I saw Velma fish meeting. I'm like, oh my god, this has got to be hilarious. So here we go. I didn't see anything. Let's see what's going on here with this one. I hope he goes in hard. I mean, it shouldn't be difficult, right? Adult animation style. Adult animation style. Do you mean like? Like one of those websites that I've definitely never clicked on? Because I don't think we could be making that. No, 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 no. More like an animated TV show, but for grown-ups. <laughs> okay, I thought you were pitching me some kind of weird pervy thing. Uh, oh, that's hilarious. So the show starts with a bunch of high school girls showering. Oh, my God. Yeah, and just the bits are covered up. This is a lot for a while. What is going on? It's a Scooby-Doo show, sir. Right, and how does an adorable Great Dane fit in with what you just described? What? The, the dog, Scooby-Doo. Oh, the dog. Dog's not in the show, sir. Scooby-Doo isn't in the Scooby-Doo show? Nah, and the show's actually gonna follow Velma Dinkley as the main character. Okay, and so is this like a comedy? Oh, you know it, sir. We got tons of jokes in this bad boy. Oh boy, what kind of jokes are we talking? Well, for example, Velma will be like, hey, if this were a rom-com, something like this would happen right now. Okay. You know, that's one joke. I'm sorry, what was the joke? Well, just showing that you're aware that pop culture exists is very meta and funny and therefore counts. Does it? It does, yeah. So that is most of what we're going to be doing here. Oh, okay. We'll also make fun of adults that watch animation, so that'll be funny. Isn't that our target audience? Oh, yeah. Well, screw up. Oh, making fun of your target audience in a meta way is tight. Get off of YouTube, you loser. I'm sorry, I take that back immediately. I don't like how that felt, and I love you guys. I appreciate that you watch these videos. Oh, yeah, Whoa, he broke character to, to say, to pull it back. I like that. He broke character. I mean, like that, yeah. Even he couldn't keep character with how evil and vile that sounded. Think about WB for a second. Think how vile that to do. They do it to themselves to think of that joke, write that joke, present that joke to the entire staff, and then get, getting it approved by the higher-ups, and then airing it. The whole process, and nobody said, making fun of the audience is a bad idea. That's horrible to think that it was allowed to go through all the jokes like that to make fun of your viewers. Wow. That's why another reason why I don't support WB anymore. Sir, you can't be meta and wholesome. You gotta be meta and cynical. What are you doing? Oh, my bad. So what's going on with the rest of the gang since Scooby-Doo's not in it? Oh, well, sir, they're the same old gang that the fan base knows and loves. Sick. Except, you know, completely different in almost every way. What? Well, first of all, we're gonna change the race of all the characters. Oh, I mean, that's fine. In this day and age, the race of a character shouldn't really affect things. Right, exactly. And then we'll just make a bunch of comments about everyone's race all the time. Well... Also, most of the gang aren't really friends at all. Oh, they're not. No, they mostly hate each other, but they're all in love with Velma. Is she, like, super great or something? Yes, yeah, she is. She's really mean and condescending with everybody. Oh, and snarky and selfish and sarcastic and a know-it-all. This, uh, this doesn't sound like a character the audience is really going to connect with. Oh, they will. You sure? Yeah, because she's the main character, so they don't have a choice. Is that how that works? It might be. Yeah. Huh. So anyway, now Daphne is a mean girl drug dealer. Shaggy goes by Norville and is nothing like Shaggy. And Fred is an ignorant rich guy with a tiny wiener. With a tiny wiener? Yeah, his wiener is tiny, which is something we're going to keep mentioning because that's one of the recurring jokes. What's the joke? His wiener is small. That's, uh, is that a joke or is that just saying something? Yeah, that counts. Oh, it does. Yeah, it's saying that Mindy Kaling likes cocks. Big ones. Huge ones. So therefore, she's going to make fun of the little ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, in what way are these characters at all related to the originals? Well, see, clothing. And almost all their names. Why not just make a completely original show, then? Well, because every project needs to be wrapped in some kind of pre-established intellectual property, so it's less of a scary investment for you, babe. That's a shoot. What he just said right there, that's a shoot. Velma was going to be a completely different show. But then someone came in there and said, wait, hold up here. We can't make something new and original here. What if we scare people? Let's insert something familiar in here to soften the blow. Shoot. Baby. Aw, oh, 
thing, B. That's a good point. Yeah, okay, so what's going on in this thing? What's the story? Well, Velma's trying to find out what happened to her mom, who disappeared without a trace a number of years ago. Okay. And Daphne's trying to find out what happened to her parents, who disappeared without a trace a number of years ago. That's... The same thing. Yeah, but I really think people are going to look at these mean and unlikable characters we've practically created out of thin air and think, hey, what's the deal with their parents? You think that'll be interesting for people? You think people are going to want to know that? Uh Aha, yeah, sure, maybe. And also, there's a killer on the loose. Oh, no. Yeah, someone's cutting girls' brains out of their heads. Wow, so is there a van that they're going to drive around in trying to solve the mystery? There is a van eventually, yeah. But they're going to make fun of it and how stupid it would be if they went around solving mysteries in that thing. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. Just really dumping on the source material, huh? A lot, yeah. Because Scooby-Doo's kind of a silly concept if you think about it, so it's going to be fun to make fun of that constantly. So we're going to make fun of adults that watch animated shows, so this show's not really for them. Yeah. We're completely changing the original characters and not having Scooby-Doo in it, and also mocking the original show itself, so it's not really for fans of Scooby-Doo. Correct, yeah. So, 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 so who's this show for? Well, I'll tell you, sir. Me? Right. Okay, well, it sounds like it might be hard to get people that aren't you to watch this thing. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, have you heard of something called hate-watching? Hate-watching? Would that work? Shoot. Hi, everybody, it's Ryan. I can't believe... They cancel Close Enough and Duncanville. Really great, funny shows, original premises. Really out there, weird stuff there. And they decided to do Velma. Fucking LGBTWBDCE, you kiss my fucking ass.